All right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Wow, it's like only 8 o'clock. I maybe slept three hours. Wow. Wow. Three videos in one day. Wow. <laughs> that was a challenge. That was a total challenge, huh? Ah, man. It wore me out, actually. It wore me out. Yeah, but that was great. I had to shut the curtain behind you guys, though, because the sun is coming in here so in full force. It's uh, really a lot of glare, so I had to shut the curtain so we, you could see me. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, that was great yesterday. Three videos one day. Crazy. Crazy. Anyway, I'll try not to do that again. <laughs> anyway, here's one thing I want to tell everyone out there. I really don't want anyone to um, argue in the comments down there. Um, I actually take everybody's comments into consideration. Um, and it gives me good ideas and it's something to work with and I do appreciate all the comments either either way Now one thing is a lot of people say oh they want the puppies without music and some people say they want to watch the puppies with music so uh, Yeah, don't argue amongst yourselves there. Just let me know how you feel and I'll address it and do what I can for you and uh, you know, we're here to have fun and uh, I am gonna try and do whatever I can to sort of try and please almost everyone I can. Um, so, you know, maybe I'll do some uh, videos with puppies with no music so you can hear the squeaky little noises they make. Because they do make a lot of amazing little noises and stuff. They're little quirky little things. And some of it I'll do with music. So I'll just try and juggle everything and try and do a little bit for everyone out there. I mean, not everyone's on the same page. Not everyone wants the same thing, but, you know, I'll try my best to actually do what I can for everyone out there. A little of this, a little of that, and hopefully I can please most of the people out there. There's going to be one or two that I'll never please, but we know who they are. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there, and uh, thanks, you guys, for hanging out and watching Baby and Me and Tiny House on Wheels and all the puppies and everything. Thank you guys so much, and... Uh, you know, I love your comments and that, and I will consider each and every one of them. Uh, but uh, like I say, just don't argue with the comments, and um, I'll address them, and we'll talk about it on the channel. But we'll stay uh, calm and peaceful. <laughs> anyway, it wasn't a big deal, but uh, I still got mud on my kilt from yesterday. Lots of mud everywhere. Anyway, it's not a big deal, but uh, uh, I'm just waking up again. Uh, like I said, I slept maybe three hours. So I'm going to get up. I'm going to get some duck eggs going and some other stuff. Get these uh, puppies up and about. <laughs> Baby's been out and done his thing. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Look at how big this fatty's getting. This little girl's getting so fat. This little girl's getting so fat. Yeah, you're so fat. Mm. <laughs> you're such a calm little girl. You're such a calm little girl, and I need calm. Mm, yeah. I definitely need calm. Yeah. Mm, okay. Okay, squiggly. Okay, squiggly. All right. Well, I'm just going to finish my coffee and have something to eat, so we'll get back to you real soon. Ciao for now. Mm. Oh. Okay, I'm up and about. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make myself an egg, a uh, duck egg omelet. A duck egg omelet. So, got uh, whoops. <laughs> got four eggs we're gonna do here for this omelet. It's gonna be a massive omelet. But these eggs also come in green, green eggs, just like the Aircana chicken eggs or Aircana, Aircana, Aircana. Anyway, green eggs and ham. That's where green eggs and ham comes from. Green eggs. <laughs> so let's get smashing these, okay? Let Okay, we've smashed up four eggs here, four duck eggs here, and there's a couple of chicken eggs for baby still, so we can't forget baby eggs. We can't forget the baby eggs, no. Nope. So here, uh, something with these uh, duck eggs, are, they seem to be a lot thicker than chicken eggs, uh, a lot higher viscosity, if you want to call it that. Anyway, they're actually harder to blend. It takes more to blend them because they're so thick. And you actually have to whip them twice as long at least as you do with chicken eggs. It's 
just takes a lot to really blend them, but man, man, do they ever make a really, really creamy, creamy omelet. They are so good, so good, yeah, oh my god. So, it's going to take me a bit, so uh, I'll uh, come back to you right away as soon as these are all blended, and then we'll cook them up. Ciao for now. myself a curried duck egg omelet oh my god it's good curried duck egg omelet mm, fantastic and as well I put a little hint of cumin in there just a hint and like most other things as many times as I can or whatever I put in some turmeric and ginger turmeric and ginger I like to put it in as many things as I can because it's good for your body to keep it going through all the time and even uh, Raven in a, in a Van I Am, Raven in a Van I Am, put out a video a while back uh, that was uh, dedicated to turmeric, ginger, and also vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 was also important too. Got to keep that in your system somehow. It's a very important vitamin. But those three items she did a video on, so you can check that out. Anyway, I also made a couple of small chicken eggs for uh, baby. Just making sure that they're cool enough. You want some eggs, baby? Come on. Look. Look at eggs. Yum, 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 yum. Come on. Come and get your eggs. Come and get your eggs. Come on. Get your eggs. I guess she's not hungry yet. <laughs> That's weird. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, this was made with four duck eggs. Four duck eggs is like seven small chicken eggs. Seven small chicken eggs. Hmm. But I was hungry today after yesterday's workout. <laughs> mm, mm. This is so good. So good. Mm. So yeah. I just want all you guys to sit back, relax, enjoy, and enjoy the ride, the videos and everything. And let me do the stressing and the worrying about content and all that. <laughs> okay? Just let me do that worrying and I'll, uh, I'm going to address as many people's, um, comments and ideas as I can and uh, try and you know try and help um, cover everybody I can you know I can't please everyone all the time at the same time but I'm gonna you know try working on it so um, they're all great ideas I take them all into consideration and I will try hard to actually manipulate everything so it pleases as many people as I can I'll never please everybody but anyway um, so yeah, just uh, stay calm, relax, and I'll do the worrying and the stressing, okay? And you just sit back and enjoy and have a have a wonderful ride, okay? All right. So ciao for now. Okay. The other day when I got the eggs there and the jam, I completely forgot I had the jam and I was going to have it with the eggs that first day and show everything to you. But since I forgot, here we go. I'm going to show you now. So I've made myself a couple of nice pieces of toast here and I've got uh, this one jam here. This is the grape jelly. Grape jelly. Now one thing, grape jelly or grape is not necessarily one of my favorites, but I wanted to find out um, what kind of grapes were in it, whether they're Concord or something else. And uh, it is a jelly, so it's fairly runny, but you know what? For a homemade jelly, it's actually quite thick. It's very well made, very well made. A lot of homemade jams and jellies are really runny, especially the jellies, but uh, jams are, uh, the jams are, jellies and jams are thick here, so. Just clean that spoon off. I gotta get a rag. Clean it off so it's fresh. There we go. And this is the plum jam. I do love plum, especially home homemade plums. Oh, I love them. Love them. Anyway, this this is actually thick. This is the way it's supposed to be. Quite thick. 
like a jam should be. Yeah, it's very good for a homemade jam. Like I said, they're usually quite runny, so there we go. Let's put these back on here. And I'm gonna spread this jam out and uh, we're gonna have a, a taste and see what they're like. And I'll give you a commentary. Okay, ciao for now. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So, first thing I'm going to try the grape jelly because it's my least favorite, I would suppose. I want to see what the grape, what kind of grape it is. So, here's the grape. Wow, that's really good, really good. It has a very strong grapey flavor. It's not Concord, I guarantee that. I don't know what kind of grape she's used in there, but that is really, really good. It's very good texture, very good flavor, and strong flavors, and it's definitely not over sweet, like too sugary, not at all. It's got a very nice tartness to it, so that means there wasn't a ton of sugar put into it. It's perfect. It's actually perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna try that again. This is a great jelly that I could really enjoy. Let's try that again. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. Very delicious, very tart. Oh my God, that was good. Yeah. So I got a clean knife here for the plum jam. And I really do love plums. <laughs> so we're going to try that out. Oh. Oh my God. Mm. That tastes like plums right off the tree to me. It does. There's tons of plums out here. The purple plums out here. The prune plums, tons of them everywhere out here. And it tastes just like the ones I pick off the tree. It's got that really nice tangy tartness to it. As well as the plummy sweetness kind of, but it's not sugary sweet. It's plum sweet. Oh, the flavor is intense, intense. And it's got this really nice crisp tartness and with that intense flavor. Oh man, this is really good. I do not like store-bought commercial jams and jellies whatsoever i never buy them i won't they're too sickly sweet for one too much sugar a lot of crap in them but also they're very sipid their flavors they're very flat and insipid i should say insipid anyway these two are fantastic i'm gonna enjoy this grape um as a grape thing because it's like i say it's on the low end of my list but i'm definitely gonna enjoy that thoroughly and this plum is just amazing, amazing. This is just going to be fantastic. I can't wait to dig into these. There we go. Uh, look at that. Wow, that's great. That's great. Mm. Well, bon appetit. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Nothing like homemade. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Those are just fantastic. I'm going to thoroughly enjoy these. Right, baby? You wouldn't know. Oh, man. So good. All right. Ciao for now. Okay. I'm just going to leave this here for you. For those of you who like the silent movies. Yeah. So here you go. ba doo boo ba doo boo ba doo ba doo boo boo ba doo boo